Welcome back into Studio 10, y'all. We are outside this morning. You know, National Vision Board Day was this past weekend, and that's a good reminder to set some goals for the new year. Easy to make. We're going to tell you all about it. This is Monica Townsend. She is an author and life coach and speaker. She's joining us with yes. some ideas. Thank you so much for being here, Monica. Thank you for having me. So I see you brought a couple of vision boards along I with did. you. Let's just start by what is a vision board? A vision board is actually a visual reminder of your goals and the things that you want to accomplish for your life. You can do it for a, a one-year goal, five-year goal, or even three-year goals. And one of the things we were talking about during the commercial break too is mm -hmm. you can do it for different facets of your life, whether that's personal, career, that sort of stuff. That's true. Um, usually life, business, or relationships. Sometimes we have couples that do vision boards. Um, you could do it for your fitness journey or even for different like organizations and what you want to do with your business and those types of things. And I think it's interesting to point out just the process of creating one mm -hmm. could be a spark plug in terms of trying to think about those ideas and think about how you want to move forward, but then right. also you can keep them up as a reminder too. Right. I actually keep mine on my wall in my business, mm -hmm. there in my office, and I kind of look at it every day, especially, you know, as we go through the pandemic and we're doing things virtually and it's a lot of stress, vision boards actually help reduce anxiety and they actually help you to stay focused on those days when you're not really motivated, you get to look at your visual reminder of your why, why you're doing the things that you do. All right, so let's take a look at this vision board down here, for example, or one of yes. the ones that our camera guy, Mick, has a shot of. <laughs> so tell me about some of the things that are on this vision board, and that will kind of help people think about how okay. can I construct my own vision board. So we're taking a look at this on the screen right here. Okay, this is my vision board from 2020. Last year, I had a vision board workshop, and I constructed this. And there's quite a few things that I have accomplished. You see where it says Biblical History Center? Yes. I was fortunate to go to the Bible Museum in D.C. Very back cool. in August, um, girl boss, um, entrepreneur, I'm still working on that. Plan a great escape. I've had a lot of great vacations in um, 2020. I belong, color, the fashion, those types of things. Um, those are a lot of things that I have manifested. Um, the flowers, I spent most of the year buying fresh flowers because they help enhance your mood, your, like you know, in your home. And so there's a lot of things that subconsciously that I kind of manifest an idea. And as I look back on my vision board, I was like, where well, most of these things I've accomplished this year. How cool so, is that? Yes. You kind of speak them into power, speak right. them to truth. We call it manifest. Manifest. All right, so let's take a look at the other vision okay. board you brought there. Tell me a little bit about that one. Yes, this one I made a couple years ago. And this one is more so of like my five-year goal vision board. Gotcha. And there's quite a few things in a five-year is that means it's going to take a little longer for you to work on accomplishing this versus your one year. But you'll notice when you make your vision boards from year to year, there are some things that will be on your five-year and they'll carry on to the next year because it's something still in the making. So do you plan to take a cruise or buy your own cruise ship? Probably take a cruise. <laughs> I like that. A yes. Good stuff. Hey, Monica, if people want to learn more about what you what you can do and how you can help them as an author, a speaker, yes. all that sort of stuff, how can they contact you for more information? Well, you can go to my website, www.monicatownsend.com, mm -hmm. and you can um, connect with me there. I have courses and things and upcoming master class and different coaching programs to help people get to where they want to be for 2021. Very cool. And Thank we need you. some positivity to start off yes. the new year as well. So we appreciate all of this insight. Thank you so much. We'll post that link on ours, the Studio 10 tab at fox10tv.com. And Chelsea, we're going to help you manifest yourself into a better self for the new year and beyond.